Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out some quick tips for Logic Pro X. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at some different things that option clicking will allow you to do quicker and more efficiently than if you did an option click. So if you don't know what option clicking is, it's uh, literally holding down option and clicking with your mouse. And what that will do in uh, Logic as well as other software, other computer programs, it will basically allow your mouse to take on a different function a different option, if you will. So for instance, right now I'm on the mouse or I'm on the pointer tool. If I wanted to zoom in on this track, I can hold down option. And now you see that that's a magnifying glass. So now I can, while I'm holding down option, click and drag. So I know a lot of people, when they want to zoom, they will uh, either go, they'll, they'll go to their tools and they'll grab the uh, zoom tool, which seems kind of like a very tedious thing to do. Or maybe they'll uh, hold down you can also hold down option on your mouse if you have a certain type of mouse. And right now I have the, uh, I think it's called the, it's that mouse that's just, there's no trackball. It's just the mouse that comes with iMacs now. Um, I can hold down and click. And if I move up, it zooms, you know, I can, I'm just zooming around. But I'm holding down option on my keyboard. So there's the first thing. You can zoom in with the option, um, option clicking. So now if we uh, look at some other option clicking, you get some pretty cool features. So for instance, you can copy and paste very quickly using the uh, option tool. So let's say I wanted to copy and paste these regions over. What some people might do is they might highlight, hit Command C, move their marker to where they wanted to paste it, and hit Command V. Well, there's even a quicker way. You can just highlight it, hold down Option, click, drag, let up, and you're copy and paste. This works for MIDI regions as well. You can copy and paste those over by uh, Option dragging. So let's say you wanted to copy and paste this over here. I'm holding down option, drag, let up. There it is. All right, so that's a pretty cool feature. Helps things move along a bit quicker. Now, it also works outside of the arrange or main window. Let's say you have two duplicate tracks, pan left and right, and you want the same EQ on both of them, and you already got the perfect EQ set up on the first track, and you go to your mixer, your mix window, and instead of loading up another EQ and copy and pasting it over, you can just hold down option on your keyboard, click, drag, let up, there it is. So you can do that with any plugin. Doesn't matter if it's stock. You can you can actually do it with um, with uh, actual like soft synth plugins as well. It doesn't have to be audio effects. You can like let's say I wanted contact over on another track, another instrument track. I could just click, drag, and let up. It's not going to let me because that was an audio track, but it's that same idea. All right. So there are three different ways to use the option clicking to kind of copy and paste and move things over. Okay. So the next thing we're going to look at is. Uh, the option clicking has a cool feature with the scissor tool as well. So if I go to, if I hit escape on my keyboard and hit five, I now have the scissor tool. Let's say I wanted to chop up a region in, I wanted to chop this piano up and I wanted to chop it up four different times each bar. Well, that could be a lot of clicking, right? I'd go here, click, here, click, here, click, right? Now I'm gonna be doing this for a minute, right? Well, that's not very efficient. I like to avoid carpal tunnel. So what you can do is with the scissor tool selected, you can see it's the scissor tool, hold down option and you'll see a little plus appear by your scissor. So now with the whole region selected, what I can do is I'm anywhere I chop, it's gonna divide the whole region at that point within the region into, into equal parts. So watch, let's say I wanted to chop it right here. The whole region is now chopped up. So that just literally saved me you know, a few minutes, which is really nice. That feature also works with MIDI, which is incredibly helpful. So let's say I was like, I listened to this piano. And let's say I don't play piano and I, you know, I, I key things in. Or let's say I wanted to try mess, messing around with some syncopated rhythms I couldn't normally do. I'm going to hit escape, hit, hit five, hold down option on the keyboard. You see the plus appear. And now I'm going to click right here. And now our MIDI is divided into equal regions for that part that we had highlighted. Right, so I could do it with this one. Uh, we could hit here, do shorter divisions. Right, so it's kind of cool for um, doing effects, glitches, things like that. You can get really quickly, quickly get in there and get different divisions going. But there are some features with option clicking that I use all the time that make a life a lot easier. Hopefully you guys didn't know about some of these. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for checking this video out. I'll see you next time.